हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बॉटनी ऑप्शनल चैनल फॉर दी यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी सिस्टम्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन दिस टॉपिक हैज बीन इंक्लूडेड इन योर पेपर 1 एंड चैप्टर नंबर 3 वी हैव सिस्टम्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर दी एंजियोस्पर्म्स एंड वी आल्सो हैव डिफरेंट फैमिलीज फॉर दी स्टडीज ऑलराइट सो लेट अस सी दी सिस्टम्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन friends in today's video we are going to see the three systems of classification first is the artificial system of classification second is the natural system of classification and the third phylogenetic system of classification all these three systems of classification try to classify the living organisms on the basis of certain characters depending upon what character has been used these are systems of classification has been divided in this three types these the systems of classification or say taxonomy is very important to classify the living organism in order to study them properly and so first of all we are going to see the artificial system of classification the artificial system of classification can be defined as the system based on only one or few characters is called as artificial system of classification the literal definition for the artificial system of classification is that if the system is based on only one character or few character that system of classification is called as artificial system of classification friends if we take only one character to classify the living organism or say if you have taken two or three characters for the classification of the living organism then such a type of classification is called artificial system of classification the very famous example for the artificial system of classification is theophrastus who is the father of botany classified the plants on the basis of three characters these characters are habit form and texture the theophrastus there is a, who is the father of botany has classified the plants depending upon these three characters and he, he given out the classification as a herbs secondly shrubs and trees he classify the plants in a three groups that is the herb shrubs and trees depending on, by using the only three characters namely habit form and texture of these plants so this is the example for the artificial system of classification in which we use only a few characters to classify the living organism the second example for the artificial system of classification is the linnaeus who is also called as the father of taxonomy has used the characters like number of stamens length of stamens and union in stamens using these three characters linnaeus classify the the plants into various groups this second example is also an example for the artificial system of classification so the artificial system of classification is based on only one or few characters so if the classification is based on only one or few characters then that classification we aim to know as artificial system of classification for this we have studied the two example one is from the theophrastus who is the father of botany has classified the plants depending upon the only three characters first is the habit second is the form and third is the texture and he divided the plants into herbs shrubs and tree the second example we have is of linnaeus who is the father of taxonomy he has used the characters like number of stamens length of stem and the unions in stamens to classify the plants now the artificial system of classification has a certain drawbacks number one drawback is that grouping of organisms is totally artificial in the artificial system of classification we group the uh, 
living organism is totally you know artificial way that is why this system of classification has do not have any great advantages the second drawback the artificial system of classification have is unrelated organisms are put together that means those organisms which are completely unrelated with each other can be placed in a one group in the artificial system of classification this is the second drawback of the artificial system of classification now let's move forward and see the second system of classification that is the natural system of classification the natural system of classification can be defined as the classification in which various taxonomic groups are arranged according to their natural relationship so the classification in which the various taxonomic groups are arranged according to their natural relationships is called as natural system of classification in these systems of classification large number of criteria are used that is many characters are used to classify the living organism unlike the artificial system of classification in which the very few characters are used to classify the living organism in a natural system of classification we use large number of characters to classify the living organism if there is greater similarity closer will be the relationship and wise versa if there is a greater similarity between the living organism they can have closer relationship and that is why they can place in a one taxonomic group and if two living organism has a greater dissimilarity the relationship will be the distant one all right the example for the natural system of classification is the bentham and hooker system of classification so the natural system of classification is the classification in which the various taxonomic groups are arranged according to their natural relationship in this system of classification the large number of criteria or say characters are used to classify the living organism if there is a greater similarity the closer will be the relationship and if there is a greater dissimilarity distant will be the relationship and the example for the natural system of classification is the bentham and hooker system of classification let's move to the third system of classification that is the phylogenetic system of classification more recent classification system this classification system has been developed just recently due to the advancement in the technologies like in this type of system of classification tags are are arranged according to their evolutionary order and genetic relationship in this system of classification that is the phylogenetic system of classification is very recently developed uh, system of classification in which taxa are arranged according to their evolutionary order and genetic relationships as you can judge if uh, the genome or say genetics of any plant or living organism is known then by using that genome or genetic information one can be place that particular tag xi in a particular group so the phylogenetic system of classification is primarily deals with the evolution plus genes of living organism as a character to classify the living organism and this is the most advanced type of system of classification but this system of classification has some drawbacks as well as genome of all the, all the living organisms are not known hence this system of classification that is the phylogenetic system of classification is right now developing into the system of classification if we know the all the genes of all living organism then we can trace the their evolutionary line and so in and all we have seen the three systems of classification first is the artificial system of classification in which we discuss that these systems are based on we only one or few characters we have seen the two examples of theophrastus and the linnaeus theophrastus divide the living organism or say plants in a 
three groups depending upon the three characters that is the habit form and texture and he classify the plants into herbs shrubs and trees Linnaeus again uses the same three characters that is the number of stamens length of stamens and the union in stamens to classify the plants now artificial system classification has a certain drawbacks namely grouping of organism is totally artificial and second they are unrelated organisms are placed in one group that is why these systems of classification has a certain disadvantages secondly we have seen the natural system of classification in the natural system of classification the various taxonomic groups are arranged according to their natural relationships and the large number of characters are considered in these types of system of classification so if there is a greater similarity between the characters greater closer will be their relationship and vice versa bentham and hooker is the prime example for the natural system of classification lastly we have seen the phylogenetic system of classification which we consider as more recent due to the highly developed technologies in nowadays taxa are arranged according to their evolutionary order and the genetic relationship that means in a phylogenetic system of classification we use evolution and genes as a characters to classify the living organism but this system of classification is still in its early form and it is developing right now because the genome of the all the living organism are yet to be known so i hope you like this lecture please like the video and share with your friends who are studying the botany as a subject for the upsc examination all right and friends i will highly like to suggest you that you should uh, refer the 2017 and 2018 questions paper of civil service mains examination and forest service mains examination all right uh, please download these uh, two papers uh, from the upsc site you will have clear cut idea how they will ask the question and how we have to write the answer all right so by that process or by that format we are going to complete the syllabus on our platform thank you very much for watching this video see you very soon